As conflict escalates between Iran and Israel, attention has turned to Israel's cutting-edge, multi-layered air defense system. From the widely known Iron Dome to the futuristic Iron Beam laser, these technologies form a strategic shield designed to intercept everything from short-range rockets to long-range ballistic missiles. Amid a dramatic escalation in hostilities between Iran and Israel, the spotlight has once again turned to Israel's multi-layered air defense system. In the face of a sustained Iranian assault involving hundreds of ballistic missiles and explosive-laden drones, Israel deployed a complex network of technologies designed to intercept threats across various altitudes and ranges. At the heart of this system lies the Iron Dome, a short-range missile defense platform that has become symbolic of Israel's ability to shield its population. It was developed to counter rockets, artillery and mortars, threats commonly launched from nearby territories like Gaza or southern Lebanon. Since its operational debut in March 2011, the Iron Dome has successfully intercepted over 5,000 rockets, with a reported success rate of 90% according to its manufacturer, Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. A single Iron Dome battery consisting of a radar unit and a control center detects incoming projectiles, predicts their path, and launches Tamir interceptor missiles that explode near the target to destroy it mid-air. Unlike conventional missiles that directly collide with targets, Iron Dome's interceptors use proximity blasts, which means fragments from the detonation can still fall and cause damage on the ground. There are currently 10 mobile Iron Dome units in use, with experts estimating that 13 batteries would be required to fully protect the entire nation. However, the Iron Dome's capabilities are limited to threats within a 70 kilometers range. When adversaries like Iran launch long-range ballistic missiles or deploy drone swarms, Israel turns to other layers in its defense architecture. While the Iron Dome effectively handles low-altitude, short-range threats, Iran's ballistic missiles launched from hundreds or even thousands of miles away, require more robust responses. This is where Israel's other air defense systems come into play. The Arrow 2 and Arrow 3 and David Sling. The Arrow systems are Israel's answer to high-altitude, long-range ballistic missile threats. Developed jointly with the United States, Arrow 2 is designed to intercept missiles within the atmosphere, while Arrow 3 takes on targets outside the atmosphere striking them in space during the missile's coasting phase. Complementing these is David's sling, also known as the Magic Wand. Developed around the same time as Iron Dome, David's sling is built to engage medium-range ballistic missiles, drones, aircraft and cruise missiles, especially those launched from 100 to 200 miles away. Uzi Rubin, founder and first director of Israel's missile defense organization under the Ministry of Defense said, David's sling is working all the time. When you have more difficult targets, you hear about ground-to-ground -ground missiles being fired from Lebanon. They are usually engaged by David's sling, which is very, very effective. It's a big iron dome, much, much bigger than the iron dome. As Iranian salvos intensified in June 2025, US military assets were also activated in support of Israel. The Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, THAAD system, deployed by the US to Israel in 2024, reportedly helped intercept Iranian missiles, according to American defense officials. Additionally, US Navy destroyers stationed in the eastern Mediterranean Sea were said to have shot down missiles aimed at Israeli targets. On the ground and in the air, Israeli fighter jets and helicopters were also mobilized to destroy incoming drones. Together, this multi-layered shield, made up of Iron Dome, David Sling, the Arrow Systems, and allied US assets offers Israel strategic depth and flexibility in defending its skies. As rocket attacks intensify and the cost of war grows, 
Iron Dome's high operational costs have raised concerns among military planners. Each Tamir interceptor costs $40,000 to $50,000, a price tag that becomes unsustainable during large-scale barrages. This has prompted Israel to accelerate development and early deployment of a next-generation solution, the Iron Beam. A laser-based defense system, Iron Beam is designed to destroy small rockets, drones and mortar shells using directed energy rather than explosive missiles. The system is not only more cost-effective, with each shot costing only a few dollars to $2,000, including operational overhead, but also virtually limitless in ammunition, as long as electrical power is available. According to DW News, the Israeli military has confirmed that Iron Beam was used in combat for the first time in late May 2025, despite originally planning for deployment in October. The system is also capable of countering drone swarms, a growing threat in modern asymmetric warfare. Unlike Iron Dome, which launches physical interceptors, Iron Beam silently burns through its target mid-air with intense laser energy. It is not meant to replace Iron Dome entirely, but to relieve pressure on it by handling the low-cost, high-volume threats more efficiently. As Israel faces evolving dangers from adversaries like Iran, Hezbollah and others, its defence strategy is evolving too no longer just reliant on interceptors, but increasingly integrating lasers and AI-powered threat tracking into its national security doctrine. Whether this evolving shield will be enough to counter the growing threats in the region remains to be seen. But one thing is clear. Israel's defence future is being written in layers of steel, silicon and now beams of light. We have a responsibility to act. We will continue to do everything we must do. World War III has never been closer than it is right now. People have seen that the system has been broken. We have people on the ground working around the clock. Wake up. Listen to the international community. Time has come to change this. Thank you, thank you, thank you.